Now, this week has seen National Eye Health Week. See what I did there? Oh, twice. Time to reflect on how important our vision is and how we maintain good eye health. Vision is essential. 83% of us say that it's the sense we'd le least like to lose. So with millions missing out on routine sight tests and more of us leading unhealthy lifestyles during the pandemic, there's never been a more important time to act in order to prevent avoidable sight loss. David Cartwright is an optometrist and chair of the charity Eye Health UK. And he's been talking to Kerry Koch, who asked if the more sedentary lifestyle we've been living in the last 18 months is actually damaging to our eyesight. Uh, well, uh, sadly it is, yes. There, there are things that we can do to make sure within our general lifestyle that we uh, look after our eye health as well as we can um, and it's often the sorts of things that we don't do as well as we might we take our sight for granted um, and people don't realize that some of those lifestyle things the things you mentioned there physical exercise is important looking after your weight is important eating well is it, eating the right things is important and, and of course not smoking and there are strong links between those things and poor eye health and yet sadly people don't realize that there are things that they can do to make sure they maintain uh, good eye health. And I've got to ask the question, because how much of an impact has the last 18 months and the pandemic had on people's general eye health? Apart from uh, lifestyle type things that we've just mentioned, one of the most important, or perhaps the most important thing that people can do is to make sure they have a sight test every two years. And during the pandemic, over four million, there were over 4 million fewer sight tests um, last year, in the, well, in the last 18 months, uh, than there were the year before. So people, um, if they have a regular sight test, they were perhaps more likely, for understandable reasons, to put that off. Uh, but if I can uh, reassure people that optical practices are open for, for sight tests, they, they will welcome you. Uh, they'll be taking um, appropriate infection and hygiene measures so you can feel quite safe in, in, in that room while you're having the sight test. Um, and of course, people perhaps who uh, already have a diagnosed condition will, will have been visiting hospital, but have been less likely to visit hospital over the last year. So as is the case with many uh, health conditions, I think we've got a lot of catch up to play due to the pandemic. If I'm honest, we were already a little bit behind where we, we might have been in terms of eye health and good eye health, but it will have only been made worse by the pandemic. So what are some of the key ways that we can look after our eyes? Well, I, my, my top one would be to have a regular sight test. A regular sight test is every two years, uh, unless for any reason your optometrist feels it should be more regular than that because they want to monitor something. Uh, and the importance of a sight test is not to ensure that you're seeing well, although it does do that. It is to make sure that there is, if there is any underlying health condition, it is identified as early as possible. And of course, it's, if it's identified, it can be treated and the treatment will prevent further for the progression of any eye con of any adverse eye condition, um, and one of the problems with uh, eye, eye conditions is often you don't notice there's a problem until it's perhaps slightly too late. So glaucoma is the obvious example. You lose little bits of your field of vision, which you don't notice because you've got two eyes. But when you do notice it, it's too late to do anything about that lost that lost field and that lost vision. So regular sight test is the most important. And think about your lifestyle. So good physical exercise, uh, look after your weight, eat well, um, don't smoke. That is uh, certainly, I think, something everybody is aware of or should be aware of, but still not far off one in five people do smoke. Uh, and also one thing we haven't mentioned is thinking about on a, on a sunny day, a, a bright overcast day, wearing sunglasses because the effect of uh, UV uh, has a detrimental effect on your eyes in a similar way that UV causes skin cancer. Uh, UV is more likely to cause eye problems such as cataracts. You did a survey, didn't you, about um, favourite eyesight. What were the results? Well, we did, and uh, it, it was, uh, in a way, a, a little bit of fun, but the question was asked, what's your favourite eyesight? Um, now, disappointingly for husbands and wives, husbands and wives came number five, and that was below my pet. So people prefer to see their pet to their husbands and wives. Uh, but number one was, and I think everybody would appreciate this, 
uh, certainly I do as a, a parent and grandparent, watching children playing. So that was number one on people's, the nation's favourite eyesight, uh, children playing. Second, incidentally, was Sea View, and third was my pet. But husbands and wives trailed in number five. Talking to Kerry Kosh for BBC Radio Northampton, that's David Cartwright, the chair of iHealth UK. Look after it if you possibly can.